Mom and Dad, we're on week four of our series of Becoming. Let's go. So if you recall, we're doing a five part series on Becoming with the big church, the big church. And uh, we're learning how to become an overflowing follower of Jesus. And you can learn all about that if you've missed it just by rewinding all the way to the first video that was like so many days, uh, weeks, uh, you know, videos ago. So, hey, uh, now we are talking about engage because we talked about grow, move, uh, start, uh, something, and, uh, uh, and today it is engage. And we're learning that we will engage the world for Jesus. That's right. We will engage the world for Jesus. That's what we hope that our kids will say when we're doing service, that we will engage the world, and then they say, boom, boom, for Jesus. Now, a lot of kids don't even know what that word engage means. In fact, I'm pretty sure if you say, hey, hey, Johnny, what does engage mean? He's going to say something like, well, that's when a mommy and a daddy they're going to get married because they're engaged. <laughs> so today we're going to help them understand that the word engage means I'm committing to this action. A lot like a car, like we have to engage the hyperdrive or a spaceship. We have to engage the really fast mode or, uh, or uh, what else can we do? We push the button, boom, right? But what happens? We push that button, we're committing for the car to do something. And so as followers of Jesus, what are we engaging? And we're learning today, once again, we will engage the world for Jesus. We are committing to do something for the world for Jesus. And that's what we gotta learn today. And it kind of reminds me back of when I was a small lad in high school. Uh, my church did a missions trip to Mexico, like uh, <laughs> the border, Mexico. We went to the Baja region of Mexico and we didn't like build anything. We went and basically did kids church. And wouldn't you imagine so many million years later, I became a kids pastor. Yeah. So we went to this village where they had no kids ministry and we provided kids church and we told the kids about Jesus and that Jesus loved them and that Jesus was was really cool and really big and we did fun games and whatnot and we and we prayed with the kids and led them to Jesus and that was my first experience at engaging the world around me for Jesus and I was good and cool with doing that and praying for that, but it was when I began to pay for it, when I began to pray for it, when I began to do something about it, that's when I was committed to it. That's when I was engaged to it for Jesus, right? What does the Bible have to say about this, right? Let's go to Matthew chapter 28, Matthew 28. And here's a paraphrase from Matthew 20. It says, go make disciples, not go talk to people, not go and um, ask them about church, but go make disciples, go make followers of Jesus. Teach them what God says. Teach them about the Bible. Teach them that the Bible is basic instructions before leaving earth. And he is with us always, right? He, now, the premise here is, is that he says to Go into the world, go to the world around you and go make followers of him. Because ultimately followers, do they do nothing or do they follow and do? That's right. They follow and do. And to engage the world, we must follow and do. Now, so with the kids, it's like helping them understand that you can still do stuff. Like all around you, stuff is happening. But what does God want me to do about that? That's a great question. Well, what do you see? Right? Look around. What do you see? There's always something to see. Sometimes we see someone that's hungry. Sometimes we see someone that's hurting. Sometimes we see someone that's sad. Are those things that God can help? Yes. God can help with those things. How can he help? 
or he can feed the hungry. How can I be a part of that? I can give to that cause. I can cook for that cause. I can eat with them for that cause. I can bring the food. I can help. I can engage that world for Jesus. Oh, he's, he's hurting. He's got a boo-boo. He's, he's not feeling good. He's got sickness. He's got disease. He's got cancer. Well, what can I do? I'm not a doctor. Or let's, let's, let's see what God is doing about this. God has the power to heal. God has the power to help. God has the power to remedy, right? So I can, I can be a part, I can engage by praying for his boo-boo. I can, I can start studying today, go to school, become a doctor for Jesus so that I can help people when they're really sick. I can do that. Yeah. And that's the same for anything and everything. If you see a need, you are empowered by God to meet that need. If there is a problem in the world, God wants you to engage. He wants you to commit to do something for Jesus. We are here to engage the world for Jesus. So friends, the next time you see something that's, that's, that's kind, of, kind of off, that's kind of sad, that, that man, God knows how to do that kind of thing. Think, how can I engage this to help God? Because God is calling you. That's right, God's calling you. That's all for this video. Boom, hit that like button. Be sure to say uh, something really positive in the comments. And until next time, we have one more week, week number five, next week. And I uh, will see you guys then. Until then, everyone say, bye, Pastor Juan.